Hello, I want uh, to feature an uh, option that is present in uh, several of my tools and that's a possibility to have a fileless input. So I'm going to start uh, with uh, my translate tool. So I have a file here, a demo that just contains uh, the text test and now if I run translate on the file and I just do a simple byte then I get back uh, the as output uh, what the input was. So that is uh, input based on a file. Now with translate, you can also provide input without a file. And uh, that is done by prefixing the name of the input with a hash character. And then you type test. That is the content that you want to pass on. And then byte. And here now you see that we have test as output without having to provide a file name uh, of uh, an existing file. It can be uh, typed directly on the command line by prefixing it with hash. So that is for a, a simple word. Of course, if you want to include spaces, you will have to uh, quote it like this. Test one. Now, not everything can be properly quoted, so for that you can also provide the input in hexadecimal format and you do this by typing H and then again the hash and then you can type hexadecimal characters like this. Sorry, I forgot byte like this and now you get ABC and you can also provide a file is input with base64, then you prefix with B, and uh, we are going to do TV equal byte, like this, and that is uh, the well-known MZ uh, character set. You can also provide expressions. You can also use uh, expressions. And as you can guess, you do this by using this sequence E, E stands for expression. And then there are actually four functions uh, that you can uh, use. So uh, the first function is uh, lorem ipsum. And this will generate fake Latin text like this. So with one, you have one sentence of uh, that text. If you run that again, you get uh, another output. So it's, it's random. The argument here, numeric argument, that my function stake can be uh, an integer or a hexadecimal number, like this, for example, two, and then you get two sentences. So that is uh, lorem ipsum. I also have the chr function, like this. So, and this gives output A. You can also provide two arguments. And then it will generate all the characters between the first and the second uh, number, like this A, B, C, D, E. If you want to have uh, a repeating sent, uh, sequence, then I have the repeat uh, function like this. So let's say 10 times we want this value. This gives us uh, 10 characters A. Here, this can be a sequence like 41, 42, and then you have ABA, ABAB. And you can also provide a string using single quotes. like this. And the last function that I have is a random function. So random, you provide it a number and then it will generate here 10 random bytes like this. See, this time it's, uh, it's different. So those are the four functions. Eh? 
uh, lorem ipsum, CHR, repeat and random. And you can also combine the output of those functions together by uh, concatenating. So I can say random 10 plus CHR 41, 45. So now I'm concatenating this input. And here you can even also provide a literal string like this. Let's do this again, like this here. And now we have output, so probably here we had a null byte. So this uh, shows you all the different types of uh, file list inputs you can have uh, in my tools like uh, translate, but also uh, cut bytes and uh, other uh, tools. <music>